welcome to ESP.NET 3.5 Crystal Report Training. So today I'm going to teach you all how to make a simple Crystal Report. So to do this, just click on the solution that has been opened. Right click, go to Add New Item, select Crystal Report. Uh, you can change the name to whatever you want. For example, always keep the initial as CRY so that you can identify it as a crystal report. And then uh, I give the name simple. So you can give whatever name you want. And then I say add. The moment I say add, now these are the three options that will be displayed. That is the using the report wizard as a blank report or from an existing report. Now I want as a blank report. So select this and then click on OK. So the moment you click OK, so this is the layout that you are going to get. So in this layout, uh, we have the header, report header, the page header, the detail, the report footer, and the page footer. So what do you mean by this? So here we place the name of the companies and whatever you want the heading to be on the page, and uh, this will contain the column headers. So as you go on placing the fields in this detail, so all the fields of the table has to be placed within this details. Uh, within this detail and footer so whatever you place here automatically the column headings will be displayed here so to do this first you have to attach a database to this so click on from this field explorer select database field right click select database expert and then uh, you create a new connection then you select OLEDB ADO click on this plus here now since we want the SQL server now suppose if you have access so then you can use Microsoft Jet 4 as we have done before for in the previous lessons now here suppose I want this SQL server so I say only DB provider for SQL server and then I click next so the moment I click next now it is going to ask you the server that is the system name whatever and then uh, you get backslash SQL Express then the username and the password and then the database now this will automatically come here yeah? so once everything is ok so now here I take Wilfred this is the database then I say next and then I say finish so the moment I say finish so now see this link is connected here yeah? and then you have the database that is Wilfred plus and then this is the DBO that contains all the tables. So these are the tables. So in this, I have the table called bills. So I select this, and uh, this I want to transfer to the selected table so that this table will be selected in the report. So this will be the table selected in the report. Now I say OK. So when I say OK, and now you click here, and you click on this bills, and you can see these are all the fields from the table. So now whichever fields you want you can just drag it below this details section and as I told you before see this will be displayed here. Similarly you place build date, similarly you place party, similarly you place item, similarly you place quantity, similarly you place rate. This is done. Now the date can't be such a huge one uh, the width won't be so much so I just reduce it, the width so that we can get more spacing and uh, even the party name uh, in a data here in a data table doesn't have much width so this is according to the requirement you can reduce if the width is not so large so this is done so similarly quantity also will be reduced Similarly, I take weight. So this depends upon your size of the field. So this we have done. Now after doing this thing, now we want to calculate amount discount net also. So since these are not defined in this uh, table, so we can make formula fields. So for making the field uh, formula field called amount discount net, click on this formula field, uh, right click, then you say new and then uh, we want to calculate amount so I say amount and then we want to use the editor so editor for typing the formula so just click on use editor 
and uh, this is the area where you have to enter the formula so you click on uh, report fields now since the amount is quantity into rate so double click this so this will be displayed here then you give multiplication sign rate so this is the formula for the amount that is quantity into rate and then you can uh, check whether the formula is okay or not see it says no error you say okay and then you say save and close so this will be saved as you can see here this is saved similarly i want the discount so right click new and i say discount then i click on use editor now since we have taken the amount so i just double click on this amount then you say into suppose 5 percent so that is 5 divided by 100 now 5 divided by 100 why because i want 5 percent on this amount then you can check the formula where this is ok since it says no error form click ok then you say save and close so this is save similarly you add another field called net amount so you say formula right click formula new and then you say net amount then you click on use editor now since net amount is amount minus discount so you double click on this amount then you say minus and double click on this discount then now uh, you can check this no errors ok and save and close so since the, we have done with this <coughs> so you can place the amount here you can place the discount here you can place the net amount here ok so this is done now see some of the things have gone out so what you can do is you can uh, still make this rate a little bit smaller take it here to the right uh, to the left sorry and take it to the left so now this is it now the headings can be formatted now since all are underlined highlight all this thing then you click on uh, u that is underlined so that will go out and then if you want to make changes in this so you can modify it by giving your own labels on the top double click this then you say grade 8 then you take double click this then say party name double click this then you say item name then you double click this then you say quantity and so on so this is how we change the labels so this is for proper formatting so this looks neater if you want to give a company heading or something you say right click then you say insert then you say text object then you click here and then you can say uh, the name of the company compute brain suppose our institute name compute brain computer institute right then you click on this now you can increase the width and increase the height then you can uh, make it in the center Bold. You can uh, increase the size. And this way you can do the format. So this is done. Similarly, now suppose always reduce this so that uh, you won't get the spacing in between. Otherwise, when you uh, display the report, you may have spacing in between. You may wonder what is the problem. So always reduce the spacing if you don't want much spacing in that. If you require some spaces, you can increase it from here. Now the next thing is the totaling. I want the totaling of each of this numeric field. So I right click this, uh, right click here, and I say insert, then I say summary. Now we want the total of uh, quantity. So I click on quantity. Now this is the grand total. Then uh, this is the total. Since I want total, uh, I say sum, and then I say okay. So this gives you the total of quantity. Similarly, insert summary and then you select uh, the amount. 
So all this numeric whatever you require, uh, that can be taken. Then you say discount, and you say right click, and you say insert, summary, and then I say a net amount. So this is done. And if you want to give a label here regarding what is this exactly now, these are the total. So you say right click insert and then you give a text object. And then here you can type total. Okay. And then suppose you can say bold if you want to highlight that thing. And then reduce the size. So this report is ready. Then you can close this. So now this report has to be displayed somewhere. So now I want to display it on this web page called default. So for that you go to toolbox. So from this toolbox, uh, from this reporting, you uh, just place the crystal report uh, viewer here. So the moment you place here, now you get this uh, component here. Then uh, you can just link the RPT file that we have done. And then you can execute and <coughs> see the preview. So you will get the output of the report that we have done. Okay, so this is the end of the lesson.